Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. Bad news for free speech. Uh, Silicon Valley is going to do some more uh, censorship. Literally, Twitter bans two Kremlin-backed news outlets from advertising. What the? But not Israel and not Saudi Arabia, because those are the two countries that actually control our government. But Russia can't buy ads on Twitter? Russian-backed news outlets? They mean RT. RT and Sputnik, yeah. And Sputnik. Twitter will ban Russia today and Sputnik, the two Kremlin-backed international news outlets from ever. How about, uh, but what, what about Al Jazeera? Can they still buy ads? That's a government-run news agency. <laughs> Can mm-hmm. they still, how about the BBC? Can they still buy ads? By the way, the BBC, I don't know if you know, England illegally invaded another country in the Middle East. Oh, yeah, we did that too. We make a hobby of that. We make a hobby. We, we really <laughs> knock that out of the park. We do more than just do it once. The decision marks one of the most aggressive moves by an American social media company against the Russian outlets, which United States intelligence officials have linked to a wide-ranging Kremlin effort, which the lying, murdering, and a democratically elected government overthrowing United States intelligence officials, the torturing, murdering (laughs) United States intelligence officials have lied also about this. Both covert and over to disrupt the 2016 president. So what does that mean? A Kremlin effort. Hillary Clinton just got caught paying someone to get information from the Kremlin, from the Russian government inside the Kremlin to smear Donald Trump. Isn't that exactly what they're accusing? Twitter's ban comes as United States authorities are pressuring Russia today to register as a foreign agent under World War II era law intended to stop Nazi propaganda. I don't know if you know, Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton just sold 20% of our uranium production to Russia. Did you know that? But I thought we're, this is, we're, we're supposed to be afraid of them. I thought they were our big geopolitical foe. Oh, wait, they're not. Because Barack Obama humiliated Mitt Romney, when he said Russia was our geopolitical foe. But all of a sudden, Hillary Clinton loses an election. She colludes with the Russian government. Hillary Clinton colluded with the Russian government to get dirt on Donald Trump. We did not come to this decision lightly and are taking this step now as part of our ongoing commitment to help correct, protect the integrity of the user experience on Twitter. You guys have no integrity. You're part of the McCarthyite red baiting red scare that has been that started in an office with Robbie Mook and John Podesta. It spread to MSNBC and now it's all over the, the, the globe. I mean, all over the country. The rest of the world laughs at us about this. I personally won't badmouth Twitter until I get my blue check, but uh, you go ahead, Jimmy. Fuck Twitter. (laughs) Twitter, which can't figure out how to make money. Everybody says Twitter's the shittiest of all social media outlets, but it's the only one I can stomach. I can't stomach fucking Facebook. I I do like it a lot better than Facebook, yeah. Ah, me too. It's, It's way better. Twitter is better than Facebook. It still can't figure out how to make money. The ban will not apply to any other advertisers, Twitter said. Russia Today and Sputnik will be allowed to retain their Twitter accounts. Twitter said it had earned $1.9 million in advertising revenue from Russia Today. Boy, I bet since 2011. Boy, I bet, I bet that would throw an election, huh? <laughs> $1.9 million. Since 2011. That's, um, so that's $2 million over six years. Boy, that's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's it. So they're doing that. So, um, let me just say censorship, uh, run out of Silicon Valley is not going to end well. It's not starting well and it's not going to end well. Well, and this is people, even people on the left are kind of trying to downplay this that I've heard. They're just like, oh, well, if they're skeptical of state owned media, yeah. that's on them. It's like, yeah, but did you notice it's only one state? What, only one state. And it kind of starts there. I mean, it, a lot of people have questioned the whole Russian narrative, us being one of the outlets. Are they going to say that we're sympathizers next and then we can't buy Twitter ads? I mean, it's 
That's how this stuff. I mean, that the quote from that famous monk comes to mind. First, they came for the trade unionists. Yeah. I mean, this is not a conspiracy. This is real. This is happening. Yeah. This isn't a. Cons- this is literally what's happening. Um. And let's remember where the term conspiracy theory came from. It was invented by the CIA to discredit people who were onto their shit. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, this is all the elites have left. And this is all theater, by the way. This is all propaganda, and this is all theater. This is all theater. Russia is not a threat to the United States. Russia is not a threat to the United States. Russia is not a threat to the United States. They're not communist. It's not Soviet Russia. It's they have the same shitty form of predatory capitalism that we have here. We exported it to them. We showed them how to do it. And these are American bureaus, too, that you're hurting. Yes. These are American, these are American workers right. and American bureaus. So you're letting your xenophobia hurt your own citizens. That's, That's right. what you're doing. That This is McCarthyism. This is Red Scare. This is, uh, this is me knowing forever from this day forward that m- this little rinky-dink YouTube show has is way better than the millions of dollars they spend on any other MSNBC show. Anything you're getting from MSNBC is propaganda from the corporation. It is pre-approved by the plutocrats, and you're not allowed to say it if they disagree. That's why Bernie got trashed on MSNBC. That's why they wag their fingers at actresses and activists. That's why they don't report the news correctly. That's why they do Russia Red Scares all the time. Our show forever from this day forward is 10 times better than any show on MSNBC will ever have. They fired Phil Donahue because he was against the Iraq war. That's who MSNBC is. They fired Ed Schultz because he was against the TPP and wouldn't shut up about it. They tried to bury Cenk Uger because he offended their friends in Washington with his truth. I'm very proud of this show. And, uh, yeah, we are much better. Much better. So please make sure you subscribe because Google and YouTube are making it as hard as possible for people to find our videos. And they're trying to suppress independent news on YouTube. So please make sure you subscribe and find a way to help p- support this show. We have a Patreon, we have uh we have mugs, we have t-shirts, we have live shows. Any way you can help support, please do. And we have a regular premium, so if you can't use Patreon or if, don't like using Patreon, we give you the option. We have another option. You can use Patreon, you could also use PayPal to go join our premium program. We give uh at least an hour extra of content every week just for our premium subscribers. Thanks for supporting the show. The corporation is trying to get rid of us. The next live Jimmy Dore show is November 6th in Burbank, California and November 12th in Portland, Oregon. Link for tickets right there.